You can also manage and add multiple users in your computer. So to do that, first of all, I'm going to go around onto the start menu right here and type in user. And here you can see add, edit or remove other users is an option. Once I click on this, what happens is that you can see other users who are there or you can go around and set up a new user account for your family members as well. So I'm just going to go around and click on add someone else to this PC right here. And this is what you have. As you can see, it opens up the Microsoft account right here. So let's say I want to create a new user for this computer without um, a Microsoft account. So I'm going to say I don't have this person sign in information right here. So once I click on that, what happens is that it says uh, like I, I can go around and type in the email address, but I'm just going to go around and say add a user without Microsoft account. So I'm just going to go around and see this is going to be tutor, uh, tutor tube two right here. So you can enter out a password right say. So I'm just going to go around and type in a random password right here, just like this. And I'm gonna go around over here, type in a random password over here. And I'm going to go around and uh, add a pa password over here as well. So let's say for example, uh, let's say just go around and say Puggy right here. What's your name of the city or childhood nickname right here? So I'm just going to go around and say Bobby right here. And over here, I'm just going to go around and say name of your of the first school you attended, let's say, for example, will be TutorTube school itself. All right. So I'm just going to go around and say next and a new user has been added, as you can see, which is a local account that is set by default. And that is how you can manage out multiple accounts. You can go around over here. You can remove the account, change the account type over here as well, which you're going to see in later videos on what it is all about. So that is how you can add and manage multiple accounts inside of Microsoft Windows 11. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.